Hey guys, welcome to Security 546 and this prolonged Termux series. I'm welcoming you all here. And in this video, this is the first video in this series, and we will be continuing with the very basic thing today. As far as this video is concerned, we will be dealing with setting up the environment and some basic commands will be dealt with. So, first of all, you gotta know this thing that how to install Termux. Yeah, this is a very simple thing, and all of you might be familiar with this thing you gotta install it from the play store no matter whether you are rooted or non rooted user but you can install it still it's available from the play store and you can download it in around 227 kb i guess that's the size and when you start it up it will uh, prompt you some permissions and some configurations from the beginning as i am not starting it for the first time and i am getting an empty screen but when you will start it for the first time you will be getting a screen like this one on your screen so yeah first of all let me tell you some basic commands and this is the layout of the termux application and you got to type it here the apt command list all the uh, list apt list will list all the available packages in your smartphone that are currently or presently installed in it with the termux application as you will be typing the apt list today yeah, these are very basic commands i know but in future these will be very helpful as we go along with the series and if you need to install any package we will be using apt install and app name here as you can see i am typing in the brackets this is command which used in some cases and in other cases we will be using another command that will be shown to you in the coming part of the video as you can see all the packets have been listed by apt list these are installed by the by custom uh, by the termux application by itself or some of it may have been installed by the user in the previous sections okay as you can see the unrar file that's uh, the basic uh, most basic i must say if you're gonna install new package in the termux as we'll be heading ahead in the series you will be uh, knowing that how useful this unrar package is and i am going to install it by just using apt install unrar the package name unrar yeah you heard that right you got to type apt install unrar and it will download the package as you can see this is this has set up, set it up now and yeah clear clears all the the clear command clears all the uh, log that has been displayed on your screen and you will be headed to a new fresh screen like this okay now some more things now we are going to use a cd command and it stands for just change directory and it will take you from one directory to another directory in your terminals directory means just simply a location of folders or files it's a place where your files or scripts are located and we use a cd command to change our directory from one place to the another place just type sorry cd hash and you will be uh, dis you will be displayed the root uh, directory of your mobile phone as if you are a rooted user you will gain more permissions in termux to display more root files and uh, as i'm not rooted so i have not this this in termux session has not displayed my all root files now another command is the ls and it will list all the available files that are available in the directory. Yeah, this, just remember these steps, these will be very helpful in the future. The cd command is used uh, to change the directory and ls is used to list all the uh, folders or files in simple terms that are available uh, under the directory. Yeah, when you type, uh, as you can see, I had typed cd dot dot, the command wasn't executed because it uh, couldn't recognize what command I had given and it will just uh, prompt you to uh, install the package or will show you the command missing from which package it is missing, yeah. Again, I type clear and yeah, as you can see, the other command here is the i if config it will display you the ip address in simple terms or uh, that your smartphone is employed with and yeah you can i have not installed the package as i'm a new user with termux uh, in this session yeah so i gotta install the ip if config package and once it's installed we can see our ip address by termux 
I'm sorry if you're getting bored with the video but there are some newbies that have requested me to make a completely new friendly video and as you can see here the if config command has now displayed my IP address here you go there's my IP address I hope you could see that well uh, yeah now if uh, someone is com configured with an ethernet port on his mobile phone maybe he may not be connected with that i'm talking in complex terms it's just how you're connected to the internet just type the uh, if config and the your connection with the internet it will display the ip address given to you by that port as you can see i am configured to internet by a wi-fi device so i will type if config wlan 0 and it will show me the Wi-Fi address, my, sorry, my IP address that has been uh, employed to me by the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Here you can get some additional information as well, how many packets you have received and how many packets are there uh, ongoing. And here you can see when you press your hand on uh, the Termux screen, it will show you a bunch of options and you got some customization options add-on styles. Well, that was it for today's very basic video. Hope you enjoyed the video.